hi hi guys so now let's uh, start about um, thread programming in c++ so let's create a, a program name like uh, 0 01 thread not thread like uh, 0 01 program dot cpp enter so now let's start right um, uh, thread programming so first is like we need to include a header called a thread and uh, for a printing output we need to include io string next using namespace std so let me create some function uh, this function can do some uh, print loop or something let's say print loop and um, let me print a loop of where i is equal to 0 i is less than 100 then i plus plus so here let me print uh, loop loop then let me print i let me do handle so let me create our main function sorry main function so here it is calling print loop it will call the print loop then it return zero so before return zero let me uh, put some log message saying like uh, inside main inside main and end okay first let me compile this program and see what's the output so let's say g plus plus minus w a l l my std standard is c plus plus 17 and my program name is this one zero hello my output can be hello so let's compile this one so it's compiling so here it's giving some error uh, end l let me go back and see what's the problem oh here i had given the double uh, left arrows okay let me recompile it again yeah let's see let's execute this one okay here you can see it has printed um, a loop for uh, let me zoom out a little bit so it has printed an uh, hello word uh, it uh, sorry it has printed a loop for uh, 99 times and it has printed the int main so now let's see how we can uh, put this print loop in a thread so for that one what exactly you need to do is we need to create a thread so before creating a thread instance i want to tell you one thing so it's not a good practice to use this using namespace std so it's always better you have to use whenever it is required so i'll remove this one so here in std i needed std in c out and here also i needed std okay now let me create a thread std a thread let me call it as like maybe t1 so for this thread we can give this print loop as an argument so let me give a print loop so now our uh, thread will be created here so let's compile and get back to the explanation later so let me compile it again uh, so handle yeah handle is there i think i did not saved so let me recompile uh, program c out is not declared i was stream i don't know what is oh sorry here yeah, i forgot to put uh, std std let me compile it again so p thread create not found so usually this this one would have not come if it is a compiler is a updated one so in order to <coughs> get rid of this error what you have to do is l p thread you need to link with the p thread so let me recompile it again yes now you can see this p thread has went off so usually with c plus plus 17 onwards so we no need to specify this one i'm not sure like why it is um, uh, telling me to link the thread 
link the thread library <coughs> okay anyway so we need to uh, link this uh, pre thread in order to compile this so let me execute hello yeah uh, now you can see there is like uh, something something happened and the code dump is generated and it is aborted so this one will usually comes uh, if you are using threads like this and if you did not join so what does it mean so here whatever you had seen this errors right so that may be differ from different operating system maybe in the mac you may be getting different error and here you might be getting a different error that's fine so let me fix this one so what is happening here is uh, this is a main function so this is running in a stack so whenever the main function is called it uh, comes to this one the control comes to uh, creation of thread here the thread is created as soon as the thread is created so it started uh, running this part of the code so since this is running in a different thread so it is running in a background in a different thread our main loop started continuing its job so it came up to here like uh, it did not print it sometime it may print and sometime it may not print so it came here and it exited but our uh, thread is still did not exited that means our thread is not exited gracefully so that's why we are getting that error so let's fix that one so in order to fix that we need to do what we have to do is t1 dot join we need to call t1 dot join so let me recompile and execute yes it compiled fine hello so it is inside the main yes now you can see here so um, the loop 99 it's executed 99 times so now what we can do so let's um, change this one to 50 or something so that you can see the entire output in a single time in a single screen so let me zoom out a little bit i hope you can see so let's execute yeah here you can observe the int min has printed first so then it went for loop so this is a very good example for uh, multi-threading so what happened here is so the print loop so it called this print loop in a separate thread so then it went and executed this one so in this time what happened is the first it the main loop uh, the main thread has executed then the secondary thread that is nothing but a print loop so this one is getting it executed so it is up to the operating system to give a priority for whether uh, for a main thread or the uh, other thread so it depends on completely on the operating system so we cannot predict that so this is how you can start creating a thread so in the next video let's see uh, more uh, things about threading okay then thank you